Hello students, welcome to my channel, Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, uh, it is said that a portion of the shifter mechanism for a manual car transmission is shown in the figure. So we have this shifter mechanism, right? And it is said that for the 8 Newton force exerted on the shift node, determine the corresponding force P exerted by the shift link BC on the transmission. So we have to find this force P which is uh, applied on the transmission which is not shown here, right? So when we apply 8 Newton force, so how much force will be transmitted by this PC link to that transmission, right? And further it is said that neglect friction in the ball and socket chain at O, in the joint at B and in the slip tube near support D. So we will consider uh, uh, only this lever as a free body diagram, right? We will consider this lever as a free body diagram. So, if we consider this lever as a free body diagram, so if this lever is applying force P on this BC link in this direction, so this BC link will apply the force in the opposite direction on this transmission lever, right? So, I will represent that force P which will be acting in this direction on this lever, right? So, this will be that force P which will be acting like this let me show it so this will be that force p right and this force p will be making uh, 15 degrees with the horizontal right so we will have two components of this force p so one component will be acting in this direction this is the cos component this is p cos of 15 degree and here we will have one another component will be the sine component right so this one will be the sine component this is p sine of 15 degrees and similarly, if we uh, resolve this uh, 8 Newton force into its components, so it will have two components as well. One of the components will be like this. This one will be the cos component, and it will have one component which will be acting vertically downward like this. This one will be the sine component. So this one will be 8 cos of 5 degrees. Let me write this 8 cos of 5 degrees, and this one is 8 sine of 5 degrees. And here at O, we will have uh, the reaction forces as well. So we will have OX and we will have OY force. Right? So now we are required to find this force P. So if I apply the summation of moment about point O equals to 0, and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive, so now as we can see that this cos component is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point O. So I will write P cos of 15 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point O is this 75 mm. So I will multiply this with 75 and similarly this sine component is also producing the counterclockwise moment about that point O. So I will write plus P sine of 15 degrees. And the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point O is this 25 mm. So I will multiply this with 25, right? Now, uh, as we can see that uh, this 8 cos of 5 degrees, this component is producing the clockwise moment about that point O. So I will write minus 8 cos of 5 degrees. And the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point O is this 188 plus 75. So I will multiply this with 188 plus 75 m. And similarly, uh, as we can see that this sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point O. So I will write plus, and this is uh, 8 sine of 5 degrees. And the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point O is this 25 mm. So I will multiply this with 25, and this whole equation will be equal to 0. So now we can take uh, this P common from both of these terms, right? So this, we can write it like this. So from this equation, we can write that P will be equal to cos 15 into 75 plus sine of 15 into 25. And this will be equal to 8 cos of 5 into 188 plus 75. This will become positive and this will become negative. So this is 8 sine of 5 into 25. So this is equal to 2078.56. 2078.56. And so if so if we divide both sides of the equation by this term, so then we will get P 
p force right so this will p will be equal to uh, cos 15 into 75 plus sin 15 into 25 so let me calculate this so we will divide this answer by this 75 cos of 15 plus 25 sin of 15 so this is equal to approximately 26.3 newtons so p equals to 26.3 newtons right so this much uh, this bc link will apply 26.3 newton force on this uh, lever and as a reaction this lever will also apply the same force on this bc link in the opposite direction so i hope you people would have understood this solution kindly like this video if this helps in your learning also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet